So tell my friends that I'll be over here everybody, um, April from Mermaid Mama Designs. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching this. This is a Sunday Heart to Heart vlog. Today is New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year's, first of all. For my video today, I went back and forth um, about different topics, um, and the one I eventually settled on is similar to one that my friend Andrea from the Lead Back Homemaker channel did. Um, I will drop her link right here. Um, or here in a card. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to not being able to throw things in my videos with my editor. Um, I use the v VSDC, yeah, VSDC free video editor. Um, I originally started with uh, Filmora, but the non paid version of Filmora puts a big, huge watermark right in the middle of each video. <laughs> so it would be like me opening a box. Um, which was great. Uh, Filmora, if you are watching this, please take out the watermark. Like, you can put it, you can totally put it, like, in a video, right? Like, in the corner, or maybe at the beginning of the video, put it in front of the person's face. But maybe, just maybe, even though they're not paying yet, you could just shove it down in the corner, you know, so that they could, um, not be covered up. Just, just an idea. Um, because I love Filmora. I love the editor, I really do, but I'm just not there yet until I monetize all my channels. I cannot pay for video editing software, um, so I'm limited to a free software, and I refuse to use one, even as good as Filmora is, I refuse to use one that's going to put a big old watermark across my face for the whole video. I mean, I'm talking like I had a 15 minute video, and it was like Filmora, <laughs> the whole video. So, uh, anyway, that had nothing to do with with my topic for today. Um, but I made notes. Two reasons that I made notes. Uh, one, I have ADD. Uh, and two, I recently started doing a bullet journal. I still haven't even decided which one I'm going to use. Um, first of all, this is incredibly basic and such a follower thing. And I normally don't do... Uh, the following thing, if I notice that someone else is doing it, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that because everybody else is doing it. But a friend said something about bullet journals, and I went, uh, whatever, it's what everybody's doing. But I went and looked it up, and it makes a lot of sense. Like, um, I don't know if you guys know anything about it. This is just chicken scratch, basically, for the months. You just kind of write down the days. Um, and then any big events, and then you can put, um, you can do whatever you want. It's just a notebook, basically. Um, important dates. I have a large work project. I broke it down into weeklies, but there are people who just do each day. Uh, but the main thing, the bullet part of the bullet journal, is you do this thing for your tasks, where you have these squares, and you write down each specific task as you, you know mom life, right? You're a mom too, so you probably get it. There are a million times every day where an idea pops into my head and I go, ooh, I gotta do that, but then I don't write it down, so it never happens. Um, this is perfect because when that idea goes, boom, into my head, I can just, boom, write it down. Um, so you take the tasks, these are for the entire month or the week, whatever, um, and if you finish them, soon by looking at your notes every day and thinking oh yeah that I got to do that you check it off if you haven't done it then you put an arrow in the little box and you move it to the next week and you write it down with another box by it so with that you will see it every week or every month and hopefully you will get to it so I think that that system may actually work for me and I think there are probably a lot of other people like me that have these ideas all the time that never come to fruition. Um, so we will see how that turns out. That is also not the point of this video. I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted. Uh, but the main reason that I made this video was to share my reasons for blogging or vlogging, um, as well as my 2018 goals. So, ta-da! 
that was just my intro. <laughs> Aren't you guys excited? Um, so, reason number one that I like blogging, vlogging. Um, it's kind of a vain reason, I suppose. Um, my number one reason for blogging, why I started out, was to share my pretty things that I make. Um, it does seem shallow, I'm sure. Um, and that is how I ended up changing my whole blog and vlog over, is because I went to my blog and I looked at it for the first time as somebody else and I said, oh, that's just pretty perfect pictures. Nobody wants to look at that. That's not real. Um, but as silly as that is and as unreal as it is, I made all of those things, you know. Um, so when I make something pretty and I photograph myself something pretty and I get my kids to smile at the camera and the photograph comes out pretty, it's like a double, uh, I guess I'm giving myself props, <laughs> putting myself on the back, uh, but that's, at the end of the day, that's why I started blogging was because I wanted to share all these pretty things that I've made because, I mean, what good is a pretty thing if you don't have anybody to share it with? And I can show it to my husband and my kids all day, and they don't get it. I found a few moms on Facebook that got it, though. So that's how I started sharing. I started sharing with my Facebook friends, who also sew. And I started feeling all the feels, because they said, Oh, that's so pretty. Good job. And I went, Oh, they like it. I could share it with them. So that was my number one reason for starting a blog. Um, also, the reason that I'm still blogging a little bit. With regards to the first reason for blogging, um, my goal for 2018 is to post more tutorials instead of just posting pretty pictures. I want to actually show you how to do the things that I've done. Um, I think that would make it a little bit more real for most people. My reason for blogging number two is to give more of a voice to real moms um, or moms of blended families. Um, I, when you look online, I have found umpteen million mom blogs and vlogs. There are just moms everywhere. There are mom photographers and moms who sew. There are DIY moms. There are moms who work, moms who stay at home, moms who do this and moms who do that. Um, but the one area that I really, once upon a time, was searching for, trying to find support, I couldn't find it. And it was for moms of blended families. I know a few moms with blended families, um, and honestly, uh, they've been some of my biggest sources of support. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, it's 2018, and most families are blended families. I honestly believe that. Um, and even if you aren't a blended family, your family probably has a lot going on, and there's still people that, you know, every family is blended to some degree. Um, so not necessarily just moms of blended families. I want to give more of a voice to moms that are just real moms, moms that aren't scared um, <laughs> of posting real life things. Eventually I want to start a confessional, which is where you can submit something anonymously, just a mom confession, something that you want to confess that you've done for the week, something funny or sad or whatever, just mom-ish, and you can submit it sub anonymously and I'm going to put it up on the site. Um, and then other moms can give you their support and be like, yeah, I went through that too. Um, cause I think, I think the support is so important, um, for moms. <laughs> it really is. Um, anyway, I want to share all these difficult and trying things as much as I want to share the proud, pretty things. Um, so my goal for 2018 in relation to that is I want to post more blended family tips, um, more things about my life as a stepmom, more things about my life dealing with um, my kid's mother, my stepkid's mother. Um, you won't hear me refer to them as my stepkids very often. Um, it's not that, I don't know, I just, I don't like that word. I try to call them all my kids because as much as it doesn't, I mean, they are my stepkids, but I hate, I feel like that word just adds a little bit of distance from us. Um, now, granted, they call me, they just call me by my name. Uh, they could have called me stepmom. I really wouldn't have cared. I don't think titles are that important. Um, they never called me mom. That was never a thing. 
they were very much, and I never wanted to take their mom's place. That's, um, that would have been incredibly disrespectful of me. Um, that's not what I came to do. <laughs> now, things did get a little hairy for us uh, after she passed, because now I am their full-time mom, um, and I stepped into it with a measure of, I'm kind of back here, because I'm just your stepmom, and now I'm not, so I'm trying to take back my power but that's we'll get into that <laughs> there's still a lot of time um i'm going to post more content related to that this year that's one of my goals um my third reason for blogging is um to make more friends <laughs> um i have made so many friends since i started doing this it's um as both a mom and an introvert i've had a really hard time um making quality friendships um not even i mean i have quality friendships i have some here in town some friends but just getting together and making time for each other is usually i mean i'm lucky if i see them once a month there are some of my good good friends that i would love to see every day that i don't see for a few months at a time and that's not because we don't want to see each other that's just because our schedules don't match up they're sick then we're sick then that's just how life is um, and thank God for the internet <laughs> because the internet makes things like that a little bit easier and you are still able to stay in touch with your friends I'm not a phone person no, catch me on Facebook all day <laughs> but I don't talk on the phone I'm not a big fan of it um, unless you really need something or I really need something then I'll do that um, but my goal for 2018 with relation to that um, is to make more friends <laughs> Um, there is a Facebook group that I help, um, I'm adminning for. My friend Andrea from the Laid Back Homemaker channel runs it, and it's called Mom Bloggers and Vloggers. It's on Facebook. And um, if you are a real mom and you are a blogger or a vlogger and you're looking for some support, um, don't just join just to be in a Facebook group. But if you actually really want some support and to know some fellow moms that are doing the same thing, then absolutely come and join us. Um, like I said, that link will be in the description box below. Um, the rest of my goals for this year, honestly, are just to monetize both of my blogs and my YouTube channel. Not both of my blogs, my, both my blog and my YouTube channel. Um, for my blog right now, I'm using affiliate links, which are great, um, but it's a lot. Those of you who also blog, you know and vlog, there's between Google Analytics and all the different affiliate sites that you can sign up for and then all the affiliate sales that you would have to track. Um, half the time I don't know if I'm doing it right <laughs> because I'm signed up for these million programs and I've got my links all over my blog, but I never get any emails. It's, it's a lot. Um, I want to figure out how to make those links work for me better for me or how to work that process. A little easier um, and if the affiliate links aren't the way to go I absolutely want to figure out another way to do it um, I don't mind doing sponsored posts I guess I, I think that's the only other way if there are other ways to <laughs> monetize your sites that you know of could you let me know I would greatly appreciate that if you have any tips and tricks anything related to that and you could let me know I would be very grateful <laughs> last but certainly not least, I want to be more present this year. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I kind of have ADD or mom brain or whatever you want to call it. Which means that I'm here and I'm there and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. Um, which a lot of the time means, when, even when I'm spending time with my kids, or I should be spending time with my husband, I'm up here doing this and doing that and do <laughs> and um, or I'm downstairs but I'm still on the computer and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and um, I'm trying to make an effort to at least take one day a week where I'm just off um, my devices that's my goal <laughs> between my sewing and my photography and my blogging and my vlogging I have more than enough things to keep me busy every hour of every day but my kids are only going to be little for a little while, um, and we are only going to be, I don't know, tomorrow's not promised, <laughs> we're never promised another moment, and I'm spending way too many of my moments ignoring the people 
that I love. So, good grief. I'm getting all up in my feels. <laughs> okay. Um, so, those are my goals for 2018. Also, my reasons for blogging, the story why I'm here, um, and why I'm doing what I'm doing. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, <laughs> advice, I always love advice. <laughs> Please put it in the comments below. I'm going to put a card up here where you can subscribe to my channel. I'm also, oh, I'm on Patreon now, which is where you can go um, and sign up to be a patron of Mermaid Mama Designs. Um, if you do that, you will get exclusive content before anybody else. You'll have access to my videos. I'm going to make a special Facebook group, um, a private one, for the people that do... Uh, become a patron <laughs> um, and that is patreon.com slash mermaid mama designs i'm also all over social media instagram is mermaid mama designs um facebook is mermaid mama designs pinterest is mermaid mama desi d-e-s-i um, and then Twitter is mermaid mama d mermaid mama designs on all the channel i also have a google plus there's some other ones out there. Tumblr. You can find me everywhere, basically. And I would love to have you follow me or send me a message. You can always reach me at mermaidmamadesigns at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year! So tell my friends that I'll be over here. Oh.